And you saw any social point up to the Trent Ass Memorial plaque up here at the Asylum Arena, former ECW Arena. As we both know, Trent Asset was the one who trained Annie Social, and she is involved in a mixed tag team matchup here teaming up with Corvus Fear. This matchup came about when basically Annie Social made herself a factor in the matchup last night, trying to take out Mia Yim when it was Corvus Fear and Joe Hardway. We saw the makings of this match last night, and already we've turned it around to a mixed tag grudge match tonight. Annie Social, she was billed from North Philadelphia. Is that near here? Uh, I... Uh, we're actually, I think, on this. We're on the south side of Philadelphia. We're in Philadelphia. <laughs> it's neighboring cities. Oh, oh, I see. And here comes the South Side Players Club. And Sam, you need to behave yourself. Your fiance is in the building here tonight. So behave yourself when you see the strippers. I behave myself like a professional every time I work. And that's what I'm here to do, not to play like you. Clemson, they do have the pole. I didn't see the pole. I thought we were actually. Oh. I, I... Clemson, I didn't see the pole at first. They brought it out here. I thought we were actually going to have an entrance and a wrestling match. Not all this silliness, not all this unnecessary, oversex, bad example for the youth of this generation nonsense. And now he's spraying them with alcohol. And it's not rubbing alcohol, it's drinking alcohol. I would spray them with rubbing alcohol. Somebody needs to clean these girls just up. Don't, just don't spray yourself with that rubbing alcohol. Get it? No, I don't get it. I don't know what you're talking about, but I will tell you this, Clemson. You should sit back down, because below the waist, you're embarrassing yourself right now. You need to behave yourself. Your fiance's here. Again, a mixed tag team matchup. Corpus Fear, any social, all business in the ring, taking on Hollywood Joe Hardway and Mia Yim. Sam Roberts, the fans still coming into the arena here tonight. I hope they get in their seats so they don't miss the strippers. I mean the match. The fa what are you talking about? The fans coming into the building right now, they're not going to know what they're here for. They're going to say, I want tickets for a wrestling match, and this is what I'm seeing? What are all these ladies of the night doing around ringside? They're not trained. They're not competitors. And what's that pole here for? There's no ropes attached to it. This is ridiculous. They're having fun. You got to have fun. It's the 13th anniversary show here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Clemson, you're not saying anything. You're just focused on these floozies. There's a lot of history in this building. Of course, starting off with ECW, with ECW, since then a lot of independents have wrestled in this building, including Jersey All Pro Wrestling. We have MMA fighting, known as Asylum, who wrestles here. We have boxing, but do you think they ever brought strippers in a stripping pole? No, only JAP does. Of course they didn't bring strippers in a stripper pole. They were here to compete athletically. What are these girls do? Oh, and you look at that, your favorite ones here, Clemson. I'm surprised you haven't named her. You, oh, don't point that thing in this direction. That's not what I'm here to see. I believe her name is Touch You. I don't know why you had to say it like that. I'm here to watch a wrestling match. I'm here to see Joe Hardway and Mia Yim, not the rest of these Southside floozies. I don't understand why you call them floozies. You don't know them personally. Nor do I want to. Hey, if this is Johnny D's D factor, why wasn't Rhino out there dancing on the pole and getting sprayed with champagne? That was a fan. I don't think nobody wants to see Rhino dancing. Nobody wants to see anyone dancing. It's a wrestling right. show. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I understand you guys. You ain't never seen nothing like this before. But I just came down to Philly and gave it a little Jersey style.
think Johnny D's drunk. Well, that's not sparkling cider, Clemson. Spin the bottle? What is this, a treehouse or a wrestling ring? Well, this again, this matchup is supposed to be Joe Hardway and Mia Yim taking on Corvus Fear and Annie Social. Joe Hardway playing spin the bottle. Did he just want to slip the tongue to Johnny D? I don't know what any of these people are trying to do, but I got one question for Joe Hardway. What would your mother think? <laughs> I don't think he cares what his mother thought. Looks like we're finally going to restore some order here, although Johnny D... No, we're not going to restore some order. He's opening another bottle. You don't even need to wrestle. What is Well, the strippers are leaving. They're going to come up and sit next to us. No, they're not going to be up here. Well, I'll give them a piece of my mind. I'll, 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 I'll fix them. You know, you're worse than a Catholic school nun. I'm no nun. I'm just a person with, with, with high moral fiber. Yeah, okay. And again, mixed tag team matchup here. The normal rules for the matchup, men versus the men, women versus the women, but anybody, anything can happen in this arena. Corvus Fear starting off with Joe Hardway. I don't know what Joe Hardway is doing, drinking that mysterious bottle before this match. That's not gonna replace any electrolytes. There's the bell, this matchup underway. Referee Brian Young, the official assigned to this contest. And Mia Yim gets the tag. Oh, oh. she's going right after Corpus Fear. She wants to go, she's not interested in the rules of a mixed tag. She wants a little mixed gender action. She just slapped Corvus Fear in his face. How many slaps is Corvus gonna take before he does something? Oh, Mia Yim comes off the ropes in a shuttle tackle. No effect on Corvus Fear. Mia Yim goes down to the mat. Something notable about Corvus Fear is it's the first time I've seen a wrestler wrestle in a vest. It kind of looks like the, the, the Joker. A little bit. Oh, hello. Uh-oh, Annie Social. Now in the ring. Any social favorite here in Philadelphia. Grew up right across the street in North Philadelphia. Not that far away, about a 10 minute drive. Why would they name the city Philadelphia? It sounds exactly like Philadelphia. You know it is what it is. Look at that. Tornado elbow and down to the mat. Hard to the mat goes Mia Yim. Again, this feud between Annie Social and Mia Yim over a year strong, and both women just flat out hate each other, and I think they're gonna tear each other apart here in Philadelphia. And within one minute, the referee has lost control of the match. Again, it's the anniversary show. Oh, oh, in the world. lucky him. I told you, this is why you shouldn't drink before you wrestle. And so far, the D factor, Worrying too much about partying. Johnny D calling timeout and trying to regain the troops. Corvus Fear may be a little jealous of the entrance of the Southside Players Club. He, whoa, I'll get to that in a moment. Look out. Thought Corvus and Annie were gonna dive through the ropes. And I think Mia Yim oh! is having some words with her own partner. She wasn't happy when he uh, grabbed her <clears throat> enhancements. I don't know if that's what one would call them. I call it her pectoral region as mammary gland. Don't say that, Clemson. It's true. The women are now in the ring together, and it looks like on the outside of the ring, Corvus Fear is getting taken down, but Annie Social in control against Mia Yim. And again, this, this feud over a year 